can the first season of Suicide Squad Killer Justice League actually save the game? We have people who feel like there's absolutely no coming back from this. Rocksteady is automatically trash now. It's almost as if they haven't made three absolute bangers before this and aren't backed by a billionaire company. And we have people like you who just want to let Rocksteady cook for a second. You want to see the first seasons first and all the story beats before you choose a camp to sit in. I'm sure it's clear why I stand from that little side note in the beginning. But what really matters is the content and today we're going to be diving into what has been done right and some crucial missteps that could actually kill this game. And if you want to know exactly how this season could be make or break, stay until the end. Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about is the main character of this season, the Joker, also known as the Jonkler or the Giggler. Despite the funny names and criticism of his appearance, I believe the Joker could be a crucial part of the story. And the best thing that they could do with this season is use the Joker to fill in the missing blanks of the story. If they can do that, then it will definitely be a dub for the game. Let us learn more, not just about him, but also about his world, his Justice League. How did he survive his world's destruction? Is his world even destroyed? Maybe we could use him as a plot device to get other Justice League members from other worlds to help free and break out our Justice League from Brainiac ships. And yes, I do believe Justice League is still alive. Check out my video on the clone theory to get more details on that. But I definitely do believe that the Justice League are somewhere hiding out or they're like somewhere stowed away on Brainiac ship or something. Like the Justice League in this game was not our Justice League. But these are ideas from someone who isn't even a professional writer. And let me know what you guys think about those ideas in the comments. But if this season doesn't bring the extra push to the story, it will definitely be a missed opportunity in my opinion. But if they decide to just do something like find the Joker and come back type of mission, I can guarantee you that nobody will like that and the game will probably die. They really have to show out for this first DLC. And they might even be able to make believers out of the most hardcore Arkham Joker fans. And to be honest, I get it. Mark Hamill's Joker is the Joker. Just like Kevin Conroy is the Batman. So the Giggler has a tough act to follow. And a lot of people hate it when their characters change dramatically when it comes to their personality. Kind of how they nerfed Batman. And that begs the question. Are characters allowed to change? Let me know what you think about that in the comments. And if you want to see a character change in real time, check out the comic book Three Jokers. But even with that, I believe that as long as they get the story implementation right, everything will be good. And the most important part, make him fun to play as. And lastly, change up the skins, please. Because man, that first skin that we seen of him was kind of mad. I'm not going to lie. And speaking of the story and the gameplay, let's talk about these boss fights. I heard that they changed up the boss fights to make Make Brainiac more vulnerable to counter shots would probably cut down time for the Brainiac boss fight because the first Brainiac boss fight took way too long in my opinion but to quickly get to the most interesting part the Superman and Green Lantern boss fights they better not be the exact same boss fights from the initial story or people will riot and the most important thing to me is that I don't want these bosses to just fall over like the bosses from before give me some dialogue and extra detail to fill in the blanks in the story or something that confirms the easter eggs otherwise it's just a reskin of the first story and nobody wants that like i said people will riot make these boss fights lead into something and feed into the fanfare or else you can't have a superhero slash superhero game without fanfare it has to cater to your audience if that makes sense maybe after beating the boss the location of one of the real justice league members is given or brainiac can outright bluntly say that the justice league are clones and reveal more about his plans even though he already kind of indirectly confirmed that they are clones maybe we can learn why there are so many inconsistencies in the league's personalities and plot holes in the stories and something that's just as important as the story is the core gameplay it seems like the standard gameplay loop is go to the portal and kill the aliens for a chance at good gear and in my opinion there is nothing wrong with that as long as they add a few extra things to it because it's a bunch of little extras that really take a gameplay loop from a good way to kill time for an hour to an I can't believe it's 3am already experience. And as far as the skins, I don't think many people care about the skins when it comes to this game. Don't get me wrong, it would be cool to look nice while playing, but I believe that has no bearing on whether I have fun or not. In my opinion, some skins are good, especially sharks, but others are just kind of meh. But a more important part of the gameplay experience than the skins would be the weapons. Now as far as weapons, I feel like they've really been cooking with the infamy and notorious weapons so far what i'm really looking for is more ways to make our weapons more powerful 
give us mods for the weapons other than afflictions and maybe some attachments like in other games i want to see an overpowered non-notorious or infamy weapon maybe i haven't played the game enough but i feel like those weapons are the only ones that do any real damage or, or have any cool effects now will this part be make or break probably not but i feel like it sure as hell will increase my playtime if they end up doing this and bringing this all back to the main point of this video Will Season 1 save Suicide Squad Killer Justice League? The answer to that is maybe. I believe that if they get even just a few of these things right, the audience for this game will slowly but surely increase. And I don't think everyone who didn't get the game will swarm it out of nowhere, but I do believe that if they could do some of these things right, it can be a step in the right direction. And me personally, I think they can do it. But let me know what you think in the comments and consider subscribing if you like content based around our favorite superheroes.